Hello, genealogists. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy. And today I thought I'd share with you one of my experiences. And that experience is me and Navy records. I like Navy records. I'm a retired Naval officer. And as an old chief hospital corpsman, I've always had a great love for the Red Rover, which is a Navy hospital ship. The first Navy hospital ship, they say. It started out as a commercial vessel, then became a, a Confederate barracks ship, and then it became an Army hospital ship, and then it became a Navy hospital ship as part of the Mississippi Squadron. In my youth, I went about the business of attempting to collect all the information I could find on the USS Red Rover. So I began to do that. And I pretty much had exhausted all of the Navy resources that were available to me. And I went to the National Archives one day and I was sort of frustrated because I couldn't find anything else in all the finding aids relating to the Navy that had to do with the Red Rover. And I said to the Naval Archivist there, what have I forgotten? And he said, Mr. Scott, you've gotten all the information. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever anybody tells me that I've gotten all or somebody tells me that they've gotten all, red flags go up. So I thought to myself, no, that can't be right. There must be other records somewhere. And this was about the time I'd first become acquainted with Record Group 217, the records of the accounting officers. And I was transcribing it because that finding aid originally happened to be on microfish. It was never published by the National Archives as anything other than microfish. And so I was transcribing it because I got tired of looking at it on microfish. And I knew that this place was a gold mine. And all of a sudden I came across an entry that said, actually two entries. One of them said, card index to muster rolls and payrolls for Navy ships and shorish units, 1 January, 1828, to July 9th, 1907, six inches. Well, the Red Rover was during that period. But I had found a year's worth of muster rolls and payrolls for the Red Rover. So I wondered. And then the entry right after that said, muster rolls and pay and receipt rolls for ships and shore units, 1 November 1822, August 31st, 1898, 686 volumes. That's a lot of volumes. And they were arranged by name of ship and station there under chronologically. And there were some gaps. And some of those gaps might mean the Red Rover wasn't covered. But there was this card index. So I wandered over to back then it was the civil side i usually didn't spend very much time on the civil side largely because i was a military guy so i went over there and i asked if i could see the index relating to the if there was anything relating to the red rover and we pulled the three volumes of muster rolls and payroll bound volumes relating to the red rover and after that, in going through those three volumes, I now had three years worth of muster rolls for the Red Rover. I put them on microfilm. I have to find that microfilm because I don't know where it is. There are a lot of things I don't know where they are anymore. But I now knew the name of everybody in the ship's crew. I knew the names of the Catholic nuns who were basically subcontractors and worked on the Red Rover and they rotated through. There are usually about three on board at any one, point, one time. I think, and this is off the top of my head, that they were Sisters of Mercy, but I'm not positive of that. And not only that, I had the names of all of the patients who were on the Red Rover. I knew when they were admitted. I knew when they were discharged. I knew what their disposition discharge was. Were they discharged by death? Were they discharged back to their units? And I also knew when they were promoted, if they were promoted because their pay changed. How cool is that? So I knew everybody in the ship's medical department. I knew the nuns. I knew all of the patients. 
And also I was able to identify nine African-American women who were identified in the muster rolls as being members of the United States Navy with the occupation of nurse. The first nurses in the Navy that I know of. So all of that was found for me in record group 217. This is an old version. This is my working copy, an old version of 217. It's got a much nicer cover now. Records of the accounting officers of the Department of Treasury and entry 817 is the card index and entry 818 is the muster and pay and receipt rolls for ships and stations. So theoretically, I should be able to find um, anybody in the Navy during that time period because this is the Treasury copy of the payroll, interestingly enough. Also included in these, and I didn't know this until this very moment when I turned the page, the Coast Survey ships and revenue cutters were operating as a part of the Navy. And, and for civilian personnel, the Navy yards and other shore units are included in these payrolls and muster rolls. So just a tidbit, this is Craig, this is just genealogy, just sharing one of my many experiences on Record Group 217, the records of the accounting officers. It's one of my favorite finding aids because I helped write it. That'll work. See you soon.